your name to my brethren in the midst of your congregation I will praise you we magnify we magnify you holy hierarch and father Basil and we Also clothe her priests with salvation, and all her saints will shout aloud for joy. We magnify, we magnify you, holy hierarch, Father Basil, and we honor your holy. Star God for us. Blessed be his glorious name forever. Glory to God on the highest on earth. We magnify. We magnify you. Holy Hierarch Father Basil. to Christ our God for us. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of age of. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the Holy Church of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For his grace, our Bishop Elidion, for the Honorable Presbyter, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our God, loving and God, protected country, candidates, government, armed forces, and for all our pious people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
mercy. For this city and for every city, village and country, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favor, weather, and abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, without danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ, our God. To you, our Lord. Lord. Down this love from my account is ineffable according to tender compassion. O Master, look down on us and in your holy temple and grant us and those who pray with us your abundant mercies and compassion. For you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, blessed art thou, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O my soul, blessed art thou, O Lord. Szczęście Mary, Ospodowi pomonimo, Ospodi pomiluj, Zastup i spasy pomiluj, Chora nas pora Twojeju blahodatiu, Ospodi pomiluj, Priestu tu i precesu pravoslavenu su vnei vladeču našu bo rodu su presu Divu Mariju. Zosim si te pomnenuša sami i sebe od nadnoho, teži do naš hresu bohovi vidamo. Bohovi gospodi. O Messiah, your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by divine power and forsake us not or put our hope in you. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will sing praises to my God. For as long as I live, put trust your trust in rulers, in the sons of man, in whom there is no salvation. His spirit will depart from him, and to his earth will he return. On that day, all his plans perish. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, unto generation and generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son, and the Word of God, you are immortal, and did will for our salvation. 
to become incarnate of the holy Theodorus and ever virgin Mary, and without change became man, and were crucified, O Christ God, trampling down death by death, being one of the holy Trinity, Glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord of mercy, calling to remembrance your most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ, our God. To you, our Lord. You have given us these common single-hearted prayers who, and have promised to grant the request of two or three who agree in your name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants and for their benefit, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the world to come life everlasting. For you were a good God and lover of mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Of. Amen. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they shall revile you and persecute you, and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Worship the Father and the Son and the Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Premudris, thy mopo bosh, no wisdom, let us stand aright. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ. O Son of God, wondrous in your saints, save us who sing to you. Hallelujah. You who sit upon a fiery throne in the highest, together with the Heavenly Father and your Divine Spirit, condescended to be born on earth of a virgin made in your mother, O Jesus. For this reason you were circumcised on the eighth day as man, Glory to your all-gracious will, glory to your dispensation. 
Glory to your condescension, O lover of mankind. Your proclamation has gone out into all the earth, which has received your word taught in a God-pleasing manner. You expounded the nature of created things and ennobled human customs. Venerable Father Basil of royal priesthood, intercede with Christ our God, that our souls may be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You revealed as an unshakable foundation of the church, granting all men a lordship which cannot be taken away, sealing it with your precepts, O venerable Basil, revealer of heavenly things, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Today the Lord of all endures circumcision, and in his goodness has circumcised the sins of mortals and grants salvation to the world. And Basil the hierarch and torchbearer of the Creator, the divine mystic of Christ rejoices in the highest. For you are holy, O our God, and unto you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Holy God, Holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Sviati Bože, Sviati Kripki, Sviati Besmertni, pomiluj nas. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O holy immortal, have mercy on us. Sviati Bože, Sviati Kripki, Sviati Besmertni, pomiluj nas. Puit mo vajni mirus in peace be unto all. And to your spirit wisdom. The prokeman in the sixth tone, O Lord, save your people and bless your <laughs> inheritance. O Lord, save your people. I'm blessed, I'm blessed your inheritance. O Lord, to you will I call, O my God, be not silent unto me. O Lord, save your people, I'm blessed. And bless your inheritance. The prokeman in the first tone, my mouth shall speak wisdom. 
and the meditation of my heart understanding. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart understanding. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of St. Paul to the Colossians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, beware lest any man cheat on you through philosophy and empty deceit, after the tradition of man, according to the basic principles of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead body, and you are a complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. In him also are you circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Bury him with baptism, wherein also you are risen in him, through the faith of the operation of God, who has raised him from the dead. The lesson is from the epistle of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, for such a high priest came before us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from all sinners, and made higher than the heavens who needs not daily for those high priests to offer up sacrifice first for his own sins and then for the sins of the people, who so for he did once when he offered up himself. For the law appoints high priests, men who have infirmity, but the word of the oath which was since the law makes the Son who is consecrated forevermore. Now of all things which have been spoken, this is the sum. We have such a high priest who is seated on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister of sanctuary, and the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched, and not man. Peace be to you, O reader, and to your spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom. Alleluia in the eighth tone. Alleluia. 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 Attend, Shepherd of Israel. For you lead Joseph like a sheep. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The mouth of the righteous shall proclaim wisdom, and his tongue shall speak of judgment. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Make the pure light of your divine knowledge shine in our hearts, O Master, lover of mankind, and open the eyes of our mind that we may understand the teachings of your gospel. And stand on us also, also the fear of your blessed commandments so that overcoming all cardinal desires we may pursue a spiritual life, both thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, God, our light over souls and bodies, until we send up glory, together with your fathers everlasting, your all-holy, good, life and spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Wisdom, let us stand to right, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Wisdom, the Holy Gospel is from the Evangelist Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let 
us be attentive at that time the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen it as it had been told to them and at the end of eight days when he was circumcised he was called Jesus the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb and the children grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Now his parents went up to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. Joseph and his mother did not know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey, and they sought him among their king's folk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jesus, seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. At that time Jesus stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon who came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured and all the crowd sought to touch Jesus for power came forth from him and healing them all and Jesus lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said Blessed are you, poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you that hunger now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you, and cast out your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leave for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. Heaven. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O oh Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> have mercy on us, O God, according to your great loving kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his grace, our Bishop Elidion. And our brethren, the presbyters, priests, monks, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our God-loving and God-protected country, Canada's government, armed forces, that the Lord God will help them in all things and protect them from every enemy and adversary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and never-memorable Orthodox patriarchs, for the founders of this holy temple, 
and for all Orthodox Christians depart of the sight before us who here and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, God's visitation, the forgiveness, remission of sins for the servants of God, the parishioners of this holy temple. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray unto you, O Lord our God, hear us in our great, hear the prayer of us sinners, and have mercy upon your servants, the priest Taras, the priest Michael, the priest Israel, the Vrajika Diana, the Vrajika Catherine, Anastasia, Ron, Valerie, Joanna, Olga, Danica, Julian, Kira, Steve, Elsie, Alan, Arlene, and protect them from all flesh, evil, wrath, danger, and necessity, from spiritual, physical illness. And grant to them health and long life, we beseech you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray unto you, O Lord our God, that you will grant unto your servants, Steve, Fergus, Daryl, Donna, Eleanor, Julian, healing from their illness and from every malady, and raise them from their beds. Give them health and soul and body, we beseech you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Ah, can we pray unto you, O Lord, our God, hear us in our great need and our thirst for your presence, as you have said. The harvest is indeed great, but the laborers are few. And we pray that you will open the hearts of many to a desire to bring in the harvest, dedicated holy priests, deacons, and monastics, who in following your example will serve your people and satisfy their spiritual needs. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray, O Lord, embrace our young people, give them the courage required to overcome all obstacles in life, all temptations which might plunge them into spiritual darkness, and give to their parents the first teachers of faith, morality, and piety, the courage to be the guiding light in their lives. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy, all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people who are present who wait your great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And send down your bounties upon us and upon all the people who wait the rich mercy that comes from you. For you are a merciful God and lover of mankind, and you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Catechumens pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them. Lord have mercy. That you will enlighten them with the word of truth. Lord have mercy. That you will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy. That you will unite them to his holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord have mercy. Help them, save them, and mercy on them, and protect them, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. God, it humans bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord our God, who dwells in the heavens and regards all your works, behold the servants, the catechumens, who have bent their necks before you and grant them a, a light, light yoke. Make them honorable members of your holy church. Deem them worthy of the bath of regeneration for the forgiveness of sins and the robe of incorruption so that they may come to know you are true God. That with us they may also glorify your most honorable, majestic name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Si ho no si videt, ho no si videt, shon ik tozze, ho no si nezalit, si atil ki vidne she in she, meri hospodavi, pomonimo. Hospodi pomimo. Zastupis pase po me horonas po do tvoje ju blahodat ju. Hospodi po mi luj. Premudris, you, O Lord, have shown us these great mysteries of salvation. You have counted us, your humble and unworthy servants, worthy to be ministers of your holy altar. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, make us worthy for this service, so that standing without condemnation before your holy 
In glory, we may offer you a sacrifice of praise, for you are the one who accomplishes all things in everyone. Grant, O Lord, that our sacrifice for our own sins and for the failings of the people may be acceptable and well-pleasing to you. Boto be na lacha tu siaka slava chesi poklonin yo tsu e sin o su domodu ko be neni posiak chas ni na viki viki Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord Lord have mercy Help us save us have mercy on us and protect us O God by your grace Lord have mercy Wisdom O God, who in mercy and compassion has visited our lowliness, who has set us, your humble and sinful and unworthy servants, to serve at your holy altar before your holy glory, and by the power of your Holy Spirit to strengthen us for this service, I grant speech to our lips so that we may call down the grace of your Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be offered. That ever guarded by your might may send up glory unto you, to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age. Amen. King of all, come visibly on a form by the
our bishop is grace Elidion, bishop of Edmonton in the western aparchy, locum tenens of the metropolitan throne, all orthodox hierarchs of honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ in all monastic ranks, those who minister and those who sing in this holy temple. May Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Bom nubem bom berge krainas canados a ulia besokos soludeske yoho ne kai pomni na hospital bo sar fi svojim zaujen ani posiakas ni na veke veke im the honorable and ever memorable founders benefactors and parishers of this holy temple may Lord God remember his kingdom always now and ever and unto the ages of ages vasi si pravos tamdin christian ne kai pomni na hospital bo sar fi svojim zaujen ani posiakas. In a wiki wiki. Amen. Amen. That we may receive the King of all, who comes invisibly adorned by the angelic, angelic host. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion. Let the walls of Jerusalem be built and will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness with oblation, hope, and offerings and the law for bullocks upon your altar. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here set forth, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Forgiveness, remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this. Lord. All that is going to be beneficial for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace, repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. A Christian end to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, good defense before the judge, of the seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, o Lord. Calling to remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us command ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O Lord, a God who has created us and brought us into this life, who has shown us the ways of salvation and bestowed upon us the revelation of the divine mysteries. You are the one who has appointed us to the service in the power of your Holy Spirit. Therefore, O Lord, enable us to be ministers of your New Testament and servants of the Holy Mysteries. Through the goodness of your mercy, accept us as we draw near to your holy altar, so that we may be worthy to offer you this reasonable and bloodless sacrifice for our sins and for the errors of, the, of your people, having received it upon your heavenly and ideal altar as a sweet spiritual fragrance. Send down upon us in return the grace of your Holy Spirit. Look down on us, O God, and behold this our service. Receive it as you receive the gifts of Abel, the sacrifice of Noah, Noah, the whole burnt offerings of Abraham, the priestly offices of Moses and Aaron, and the peace offering of Samuel, even as you did receive from your holy apostles this true worship. So now in your goodness, accept these gifts from the hands of us sinners, O Lord, that having been accounted worthy to serve without offense at your holy altar, we may receive the reward of the wise and faithful stewards on the awesome day of your just retribution. <clears throat> Through the compassions of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good life, and spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. 
Merusim peace be unto all and to your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. The very, the very primu droi seed void mo vajni, the doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the father and he shall come again to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom shall have no end and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, universal, and apostolic church, I acknowledge what baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in fear, let us be attentive that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. O existing one Master, Lord God, Father Almighty, and worthy of adoration, it is truly proper and right to be and befitting the magnificence of your holiness that we should praise you chant hymns to you, bless you, worship you, and give thanks to you, and glorify you, the only true existing God, the one who is, the Master, Lord God, and, and worship Father Almighty, and offer you with contrite hearts and humble spirits, this our spiritual worship, for you have graced us with the knowledge of your truth, and can speak of your mighty acts, to, to chant all the days, all the praises you deserve, or to proclaim all the wonders at all times. Master of all, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible creation, you sit on the throne of glory, gazing upon the abyss. You are without beginning, invisible, incomprehensible, uncircumscribed, immutable, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our great God and Savior, our hope, the image of your goodness, the seal-bearing perfect likeness, who reveals to you the Father in himself, the living word, the true God, wisdom before the ages, life, sanctification, power, and the true light, through whom the Spirit has been revealed. 
the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, a pledge of an inheritance to come, the first fruits of eternal good things, the life creating power, the fountain of sanctification through whom every rational and intelligent creature is enabled to worship you, sending you everlasting glorification for all things serve you, the archangels, angels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and many eyed cherubim praise you. The seraphim surround you, each has six wings, with two they cover their faces, with two their feet, and with two they fly, calling to one another endlessly, with never ceasing praises. Singing the triumphant hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. With these blessed powers, O Master, who loves mankind, we sinners also cry aloud and say, Holy are you, and all holy in your most the truly most holy, and there are no bounds to the magnificence of your holiness. You are gracious in all your deeds, for with righteousness and true judgment you have ordered all things for us. You have created man by taking dust from the earth and did honor him with your own image, O God. You did set him in, the, in a paradise of delight, promising him eternal life and in enjoyment of everlasting blessings and in the observance of your commandments. But when man disobeyed you, the true God who had created him and was deceived by the guile of the serpent, becoming subject to death through his own transgressions, you, O God, in your righteous judgment then sent forth from paradise into this world, returning him to the earth from which he was taken, yet providing for him the salvation of regeneration in your Christ himself. For you did not turn yourself away forever from your creatures whom you have made, O good one, nor did you forget the work of your hands. Through the tender compassions of your mercy, you did visit him in various ways. You sent prophets, you, visit, you performed mighty works by your saints, who in every generation were well-pleasing to you. You spoke to us by the mouth of your servants, the prophets, foretelling to us the salvation which was to come. You gave us the law as a, as a help. You appointed angels as guardians, and when the fulfill, fullness of time had come, you spoke to us through your Son himself, by whom you also made the ages, who being the radiance of your glory and the image of your person, upholding all things by the word of his power, though it not robbery to be equal to you, the God and Father. He was God before the ages, yet he appeared on earth and lived among men and became incarnate of the Holy Virgin, emptied himself, taking on the form of a servant, being like to the body of our loneliness, that he might liken us to the image of his glory. For because through man sin entered the world and through sin death, so it pleased your only begotten Son present in your bosom, the God and Father, who was born of a woman, the holy Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, who was born under the law to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who were dead in Adam might be made alive in your Christ himself. He lived in this world and gave us commandments for salvation, releasing us from the dissolutions of idolatry. He brought us to knowledge of you, the true God and Father. He obtained us for his own chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, having cleansed us in, in water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as a ransom to death, in which we were held captive, sold under sin, descending through the cross into Hades, that he might fill all things with himself. He loosened the pangs of death. He arose on the third day, having made for all flesh a path to the resurrection from the dead. Since it was not pro possible for the author of life to be, to be a victim of corruption, so he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, he might, that he might be himself truly the first in all things, ascended into heaven and sat down at the right hand of your majesty. On high, and he will come to render every man according to his works. And as a memorial of his saving passion, he has left us these things which we have set forth according to his command. 
for when he was about to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable and life creating death in the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world he took bread in his holy pure and blameless hands and having shown it to you the God and Father having given thanks blessed and hallowed it and broke it Dovsi tem svim učenikam i apostolom i promomo primit spojavajte se tijelo moja što za vas lamaja se na vipušnjari kiutre he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying Take it, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine and having mingled it and given thanks, blessed and hallowed it. Dov sietem svojim učenikami apostolom i promom petis nevsi se krov mojo no zavito še za vas se mno prolovajte na vipušnja rikio. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, Drink of this all of you, this is my blood in the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup and proclaim my death and confess my resurrection. Therefore we also, O Master, remember this saving passion and life-creating cross, this three-day burial, the resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven, his sit at the right hand of the Father, right hand of you, the God and Father, and his glorious and awesome second coming. Tvoje vi tvoji, tobi prinos mos of seas of sa yours of your own, we offer to on behalf of all and for all. We praise you, we bless you. Because of this, O Holy Master, we also, your sinful and worthy servants, whom you have made us worthy to minister to your holy altar, not through your own our own righteousness, for we have done nothing good upon the earth, but because you are, because of your mercy and compassion, which you have richly poured out upon us, I dare to draw near to your holy altar, and presenting to you the antitypes of your holy body and blood of your Christ, we pray to you and call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by your, by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon these gifts here set forth and bless them and howl them and show. God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Oh Lord, who at the third hour did send down the most Holy Spirit upon the apostles, do not take from us a good one who renews who pray unto you. Create in me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit within me. Oh Lord, who at the third hour did send down the most Holy Spirit upon the apostles, do not take from us a good one who renews who pray unto you. Cast me not away from presence, take not your Holy Spirit from me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down the most Holy Spirit upon the apostles, do not take it from us, O good one, brother, news, who pray unto you. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Shed for the life of the world and for salvation. Amen. Amen. Making the change by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And unite all of us who partake of the one bread and, cu and cup to one another in the communion of the one Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ before judgment or condemnation. Instead, we may find mercy and grace with all the saints who through the ages have been well-pleasing to you. Ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. We offer you incense of Christ, give us an offer your spirit to pray for <coughs> upon you on the altar and send down upon us the gift of your Holy Spirit. O so brevo za presu to preces, o brevo sa vanus of new vladecho nasho boro, to so presu divo Mariu, especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glory say theotokos and ever virgin Mary. <coughs> All of creation rejoices in you, O full of grace. The assembly of angels in the race of man. O sanctified temple and spiritual paradise. The glory of virgins. Of whom God was incarnate and became a child. Our God before the ages. He made your body into a throne, and your womb he made more spacious than the heavens. 
All of creation rejoices in you, O full of grace. Glory to you. For the Holy Prophet, Forerunner, and Baptist, John of the Holy Glory, and all praised apostles. Of St. Basil the Great, Archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, the martyr Basil of Ancyra, St. Emilia, mother of the Holy Hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory of Nisa, and Peter Sebast, and also Venerable Marcinia and St. Nectarius, Necratus, St. Gregory of Nazianzus the Elder, father of Gregory the Theologian, the Venerable Theodosius, abbot of the monastery of Tegrela in Bithyan, new martyr Peter of Trilopolis in the Peloponnesios, Saint Flugentius, Bishop of Rospe, of whom we commemorate tonight of all your saints. By their prayers, look down upon us, O God, and remember all those who have fallen asleep in the hope, who have fallen asleep before us in the hope of resurrection and eternal life, and grant them rest where the light of your countenance shines. Again, we entreat you to remember, O Lord, your holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, which extends from one end of the universe to the other and give peace to her whom you have obtained with the precious blood of your Christ, and establish this holy house until the end of the age. Remember, O Lord, those who have offered you these gifts, those for whom and through whom they are offered and their intentions. Remember, O Lord, those who, bring, who bear fruits and who do good works in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor. Reward them with your rich and heavenly gifts. Grant them heavenly things for earthly, eternal for temporal, and incorruptible things for corruptible. Remember, O Lord, those who, in the deserts, in the mountains, in the caverns, in the pits of the earth. Remember, O Lord, all those who live in virginity, piety, and asceticism, and an honorable way of life. Remember, O Lord, our God-beloved country, its civil authorities, and all the armed forces. Grant them a secure and lasting peace. Speak good things into their hearts, concerning your church and all your people, that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful, calm and quiet life in all piety and virtue. Remember, O Lord, every principality, authority, our brothers who serve and the government and armed forces. In your goodness, guard those who are good. Make those who are evil good by your goodness. Remember, O Lord, the people here present and those who are absent for a good cause and have mercy on them and on us according to the abundance of your mercies. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and oneness of mind. Raise the infant, train the youth, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, gather together the, the scattered, lead back those who wander astray, and unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and air. Defend the widows, protect the orphans, captives, and heal the sick. Remember, O oh God, those being judged, those in minds in exile and harsh labor, and, eat, and in every kind of tribulation, need, and distress. Remember, O oh Lord, our God, all those who are in need of, our, of your great loving kindness, those who love us, those who hate us, and those who have asked us, the unworthy, to pray for them. And remember all your people, O oh Lord, our God. Pour out your rich mercy on them all, granting them all petitions which are unto salvation and all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or multitude of names you yourself remember, O God, since you know the age and name of everyone, even from their mother's womb. For you, O Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the storm-tossed, the haven of the voyagers, the physician of the, the sick. Be everything to everyone, for you know each person and their requests, their house and their need. Lord, deliver this and every city and country from famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, foreign invasion, and civil war. Among the first, remember, O Lord, His grace, the Lydion, Bishop of Edmonton, and the Western Eparchy, locum tenens of the Metropolitan Throne, and grant for Him your holy churches and peace, and peace, honor, safety, health, length of days, rightly to find the word of your truth. And all mankind. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Episcopate, to rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember, O Lord, according to the multitude of your, multitude of your compassions, my 
unworthiness also forgive my every transgression both voluntary and voluntary and forgive and because of my sins do not withhold the grace of your Holy Spirit from these gifts here set forth remember O Lord the priesthood the diaconate in Christ and every order of the clergy let none of us who stand about your holy altar be put to confusion visit us with your loving kindness O Lord manifest yourself manifest yourself to us through your rich compassions grant us seasonable and healthful weather send gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit bless the crown of the year with the goodness prevent schisms among the churches pacify the ragings of the pagans quickly destroy the uprisings of heresies by the power of your holy spirit receive us all into your kingdom showing us to be the sons of the light and sons of the day grant us your peace and your love and your love O lord our god for you have given all things to us and grant that with one mouth and one heart may praise your most honorable and majestic name of the father and the son and the holy spirit now and ever and unto the ages of age amen and may the mercies of our great god and savior, savior jesus christ be with all of you and with your spirit having remembered all the saints again and again in peace let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for the precious gifts offered and consecrated let us pray to the lord lord have mercy that our god who loves mankind having received on his heavenly on his holy heavenly and ideal altars and offering spiritual fragrance May in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all flakes and wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Forgiveness, remission for sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All that is going to be beneficial for our souls and peace with the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of life in peace, repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A Christian end to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ let us up grant this O Lord having asked for the unity of faith and the communion of the spirit let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God to you O Lord O our God the God of salvation teach us how we may worthily give thanks to you for the benefits you have given and continue to give us having accepted these gifts oh our god cleanse us from every impurity of flesh and spirit and teach us to to perfect our sanctification in fear of you that we in witness of a pure conscience may be united with your holy body and blood of your christ having received them worthily we may have christ dwelling in our hearts and may become the temple of your holy spirit you are god let none of us be guilty before these your awesome and heavenly mysteries neither be sick in soul or body because we have unworthily communed but grant O lord that we may worthily receive a portion of your holy things even to our final breath as a provision on the path of eternal life as an acceptable defense at the fearsome judgment seat of your christ that we also together with the with all the saints who in all the ages have been well pleasing to you may be made partakers of your eternal good things which you have prepared for the for those who love you O lord and make us worthy o master with boldness and without condemnation to dare call on you the heavenly god his father and to say Nehaj sveti sja imja tvoje, nehaj pride carstvo tvoje, nehaj bude volja tvoja, 
jak na nebi, tak i na zemi. I v nás nasušní, daj nám co hodný, i prosti nám proveny naši, jak i my proštajmo venovacjam našim, i ne veli nas u spokusu, ale vizbori nas vid lukavoho. Oče naš, koj se ne bezavar, da sveti Tvoj to ime, da dojde Tvoj to casvo, da bude Tvoj to voja, kako na nebetu, tako i na zemljata. Nasuš njeni hrab danji dnes, i prosi nam dolgovete njim, kako nije proštavame na zaziste si, i ne vijodijo se skušenje, no v izbavini od lukavija. Pater imon, v antiso ranis, a jaz ti to to no masu, je da tati vasilija su, je ne ti to to tali masu, osan oreno, ko je peciskis, To narto nimon te opio son, to si men simeron, ke efi siminta e filimeta imon, os ke e mi sa fie men ti so filete simon, ke mi e senengis ima si spiras mon, ala lise ima sa potoponi ru. Tatel noštu karešti in čeru, svinciaske se numere tau, via imparacija ta, faka se voja ta, prekum enče rašaši prepament. Pa in je nastra čas prefinca, da ne venua astazi, Če ne jarta nua grešilja noastra, prekup še nua i jartam grešitelom noštri, če ne neduče pre najen izpita, če ne izbave štedeče vrav. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Mero sin peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. O Master, Lord, Father of compassions and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and preserve those who have bowed their heads to you. Withdraw them from every evil deed. Join them to every good work and deem them worthy without condemnation to partake of these, your only most pure and life-creating mysteries for the forgiveness of sins, for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Through the grace, mercy, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life and spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Attend, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, of your holy dwelling place on the throne of the glory of your kingdom, and come and sanctify us who sit on high with the Father, and also visit and visit visibly present, present among us and grant that by your own mighty hand and pure body pure body and precious blood might be given to us and through us to all the people O God cleanse me sinner and have mercy on me O God cleanse me sinner and have mercy on me O God cleanse me sinner and have mercy on me let us be attentive, the holy things for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord. Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Save your people and bless your inheritance. 
To you will I call, O oh my God, be not silent unto me. The righteous man shall be an everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. shall speak wisdom in the meditation of my heart understanding pamyat vichno bode pravedni lichor slavi vime obojitsya believe, O Lord, and I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I also believe that this is truly your own most pure body, and that this is truly your own precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of your most pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of your mysteries to your enemies. Neither like Judas will I give you a kiss, but like the thief will I confess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the communion of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be neither to my judgment nor condemnation, but into the healing of soul and body. Amen. Righteous shall proclaim wisdom, and his tongue shall speak of judgment. With the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. 
Do not labor for the food which perishes, for the food which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him is God the Father set his seal. Till o Christo ve premite, smertno spožavite. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. Receive the body of Christ, taste the fountain of immortality. So they said to him, What sign do you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness. It is written, He gave them bread from heaven to heat. <laughs> Jesus then said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from the heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from the heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Receive the body of Christ. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except him who is from God. He has seen the Father. Alleluia. 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 Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and they die. I am the bread which comes down from heaven. Anyone may eat of this bread and not die. Alleluia. Alleluia. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity who has saved us. Always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of age, all. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. For you have made us worthy to partake of your holy divine, immortal and life-giving mysteries. Keep us in your holiness, that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us stand aright, having partaken a divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. 
having asked that the whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, our Lord. We thank you, O Lord our God, for the participation of your most holy, pure, immortal, heavenly mysteries, which you have granted for us the good and sanctification and healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, all, O Master, all, of, all that the communion of the holy, holy body and blood of your Christ may be to us and for a faith unashamed, a love unfrightened, an increase of wisdom, a healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the <laughs> observing of your commandments, and the acceptable defense at the awesome judgment seat of your Christ. For you are sanctification, to we send up glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who will open you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to your priests, and to all your people. For every good giver, gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down through the Father of lights, and to we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Blessed be thy name. Of the Lord has for them forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord has for them forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, hence for them forevermore. To grant us all is through the grace of your, of your Father, who is from everlasting, your holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you through his grace, mercy, and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of age. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father bless. May Christ our true God, who on the eighth day deigned to be circumcised in the flesh for the sake of our salvation, may he, through the prayers of the most holy Theotokos, of the holy, of our holy fathers, Basil the great Archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, of the martyr Basil, of Ansira, Saint Amelia, mother of the holy hierarchs, based with the great Gregory of Nyssa and Peter of Sabbath, and also venerable Marciani, Marcinia and Saint Nicratus, Saint Gregory of Nazianzus, the elder, father of Saint Gregory the theologian, the venerable Theodosius, abbot of the monastery in Tegrila, Bithyan, the new martyr Peter of Trilopolis in the in the fellow Peloponnes, Saint Fulgentius, Bishop of Ruspe, and of all the saints for as much as he is good and the lover of mankind. Christos Rojaitia, Christ is born. Please be seated. The, the feast of the Nativity, of course, we are still in those 12 days following that we served it last week. Our Lord becoming incarnate in the flesh and to save each and every one of us is only a beginning part of this story. Of the process for us to become 
saved. As we look in the scriptures, in the Holy Scriptures, in the, the writings, not of the New Testament, but the, the scriptures of the Old Testament, we hear the prophets talk about how they are to live, how one is to conduct themselves. The first, after the Garden of Eden, the, the covenant that was made, the first agreement that was made between man and God was between Abraham. And that is where today's feast is linked. Abraham was asked to sacrifice his son. So he went up and he prepared. He prepared to be faithful to God. And he had his son ready to be sacrificed to God. But God, seeing how devout and how faithful he was, said, no, stop. This is not what you're going to do. Instead, here is, and he gave him a sacrifice. But then he made that covenant as well with Abraham where in the Old Testament to show that you were in that re covenant, in that agreement, that legal binding document like your signature was the act of circumcision for the males. And today on the eighth day after Christ's birth, his parents fulfilled that first agreement of the Old Testament. To be circumcised. And now as Christ lives and grows up, we see the development. We see how it's no longer just that one agreement, but that the Ten Commandments are fulfilled. That all of the prophecies of the Old Testament of who the Messiah is going to be is fulfilled and shown through Christ. And in the Gospel, we heard how he wasn't, he was obedient to his heavenly father, but in the immediate sense, not to his earthly mother and father. And stayed in the temple, teaching, sharing, that which he was came into the world to reveal to us all. But we only only have one of our one of our children here today, but we can share this with all of our children. That although Mary and Joseph, when they came back and they said, What were you doing? He tried to explain it. Christ did. And rightfully. When we're doing something, we always want to explain so that somebody can understand when they're concerned about what's happened. But, but most importantly, that I wanted to say is, he said, I will be obedient to, to you. Or it says that he is, was obedient to his parents from that point forward. Not that he was disobedient, but instead of doing the things without their knowledge, he included them more in the discussion, you could say. It's important that we realize as we go through these, these feasts, it's quite interesting. We have the nativity, natural birth. Then today is the eighth day, the circumcision, the agreement of how you became a follower within the Old Testament. And now on Tuesday, Wednesday, with the Feast of Theophany, we are going to have the baptism, which is now the way we are accepted, the way we show our agreement with God and that we are wanting to be one of His royal priesthood, one of His children. In, a, in 
12 days, we see the incarnate God, the old agreement, and the new agreement. So let us find joy in this. As well, as I always like to throw in that on this day, this is the Julian calendar New Year's Day. So guess what? You had a 14-day trial of your resolutions. If they didn't work, reset them and try again. <laughs> or do a different one. <laughs> so I always like to throw that one in. Um, with that, I thank you for, for joining uh, me this morning uh, for this Divine Liturgy. I uh, pray that you all have a, a blessed weekend. I remind you, we do have Vespers tomorrow at 5.30, and then, of course, the Divine Liturgy at, on Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, as a, as a one last aside today, His Grace Bishop Aledion was in uh, Saskatoon um, in, uh, in our, the, one of our parishes in Saskatoon. You could say our sister parish, All Saints of Saskatoon was the parish he was in, uh, serving, and we, uh, he ordained a, another priest uh, for our Holy Church here in Canada. Um, the, uh, the, who was the, the deacon uh, Vasil Mascal is now Father, uh, the priest, Father uh, Vasil Mascal. Um, he's from that area, but he's been living in the Edmonton area. And now uh, uh, pray for, for Father Vasil that he is uh, given strength in God's vineyard as he begins his ministry as, uh, as, a, uh, as a priest. It's, uh, it is a heavy burden that, uh, that many... Um, Many who were called, but as Christ says, many are called, but few are chosen. And uh, so I, I pray for him and then that God give him strength in his ministry. Uh, with that, I invite you all up to the veneration of the cross and to receive the Antidorum uh, as well. Christ is in our midst. Christ is born. Glorify him.